So, after my last video where I showed uh, this Aristocraft 040 modified from a tender engine, for the first time ever, I had a major fire. The chassis is plastic, these pieces came out the sides and the steps and the, and the you know, companionways were plastic. Uh, so, yesterday I tried a uh, new butane. It's a high, high grade stuff for lighters, really high grade, and uh, it was hot. Anyway, the locomotive set off. It was going around on the outdoor track perfectly fine. And then all of a sudden I noticed from a distance, I was at the far end of the deck, that the, the big nose piece started to droop down and the stack started going sideways. <laughs> I ran over and stopped it. When I stopped it, I guess the lack of airflow happened and whoosh, all underneath, especially down in there. And uh, the smoke box just boop, erupted in flame. So now what I've done is I've cut away all the droopy, plasticky, burnt pieces. I put a heat shield, that's a metal heat shield I put right there. It's just a simple piece of old VCR case. This was a piece I was working on to cover the boiler anyway, as mentioned in the last video. Um, but I just popped it on to see what it would look like. And you know, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> uh, out back there was a step here and a bunch of plastic and pieces that's all gone i just trimmed it all right down because the front is trimmed down kind of almost looks like a dockside now one of the added benefits of this is this piece this was held in with two little screws on each side so with this engine uh in its original rc configuration there was a button you press went and in here was a sparker that lit the flame what i did was i took a screw a regular uh, sort of uh, a bolt cut the head off it and just use nuts and the knurled piece. And now I can get in there and I can light it up, see that it's fine and pop that back on. I can't with the camera here in my hands, but it pops back on. And when it's warm, it's an easy matter of putting this on here and just popping it off. So this is an added benefit actually. Now I can actually see the fire, whereas before I couldn't, which was a flaw in the design. It's kind of too bad because this has an excellent cross tube boiler. There you can see it in there, all these cross tubes. What a great boiler, it really heats up fast. Now, of course, when this had the plastic, some of the plastic bits still on, it had a bell. I've moved the bell and taken it apart and it sits under the cab there now. On this side, happily, the uh, this piece was not, it was soft, but it didn't burn. It burned here. This part, the step that was under here melted away. Uh, most of the fire was on the other side, uh, but here is your uh, lubricator. So the lubricator, oh still remains in the same place. Here's the gas regulator. It's actually got a slate glass so I can actually mine the amount of uh, butane in the tank. Believe it or not, after this <laughs> strange fire that surprised me, um, believe it or not, I think I like it even more. It looks less like the original. Um, it works better and has better options now. Much less likely to catch fire or melt now. The front beam is uh, a little bit akimbo here. The whole thing's solid. I have test run it, it's great. So let's have a whirl. There's fuel in the tank. If you want to check the status of the flame, easy cheesy. Let's have a look in. Pressure is coming up. Um, when this locomotive was new, it blew off at about 20 pounds of pressure. I adjusted the safety valve, now it blows off around 30. <laughs> just blew off, we're ready to go. I think I need to slow it down. Goes equally well in reverse.
This engine doesn't have a blowdown valve. Uh, it's just too simple an engine for that. So I just loosen this very carefully when I want to take the pressure off. Actually, I just let it run around a lot. There you go. There's almost no pressure left in it anyway because it's run around quite a bit.